guys welcome back to my channel i'm gonna hop straight into this video so today i am doing my shower routine i'm gonna be starting off with my dr bronner's citrus scent soap and my exfoliating rag i love this exfoliating rag because i'm able to get every inch of my body because it is long i love the fact that it exfoliates my skin well enough to where it's a gentle exfoliation it doesn't leave my skin feeling rough or like if there's any scratches on my skin As you can see, the rag is long, so I was able to cover my entire back while washing with this exfoliating rag. And while exfoliating, you wanna make sure that you go from top to bottom, and I mean from head to toe. You want to scrub those legs, you want to scrub on top of your feet, you want to scrub underneath your feet. You just want to get your entire body clean when you're doing this step. So after exfoliating, I love to go in with this Olay Age Defying Body Wash. I spoke about it in a previous video and I just love the fact that it keeps my body feeling so soft. It has B vitamins in it, which is good for nourishing the skin. And I just use it all over my body except for my private area. Then you just want to rinse that off and move on to the next step. Now I use the Dr. Bronner's Baby Unscented Soap and I use that soap to wash my good cat. And you want to use your hands when you're doing the steps because you want to be gentle and you not only want to wash the outside, but you do want to wash the inside. And when I say the inside, I do not mean inside of the vagina, but I do mean all of the areas surrounding it. And with this, you want to wash from front to back, you know, get that kitty cat and the crack, get all up in there. And you wanna do that at least twice. On days when my skin is feeling really rough and I really feel like I need some TLC, I do go in with this Tree Hut Rock and Rose Exfoliating Body Polish. And I also just use my hands and I work that all over. And so the last step in my shower routine is to go in with this Olay in shower body conditioner. And to me, it kind of works just like the conditioner that goes in your hair. You know, after you wash out the oils and you strip your skin, you want to go back in with something nourishing. And I feel like this conditioner does just the job. It leaves my skin feeling so soft, so subtle, and it also has a nice fragrance to it. Now that we are out the shower, I'm gonna go in with some aloe vera gel. And I like to use this because I do have hyperpigmentation on my chest and on my shoulders 
because I do suffer from body acne from time to time. And I feel like this just does the job when it comes to help widening those hyperpigmentation marks. Then I follow that up with the Dr. Till's Moisturizing Body Oil. And I said in a previous video that I have grown to love this oil. It's very lightweight. I find that it doesn't stay in my clothes. I can apply it when my skin is dry and I can apply it when my skin is damp. And I feel like it works wonders both ways that you use this. And so after applying this, you can literally see how moisturizing it is to the skin. I mean, look at my leg. It, it's literally glowing after applying this oil. After I am dressed, I like to go in with this body oil called Lick Me All Over. And it just smells so delightful, as you can see. I love the smell of this. This is something that I just won't get tired of. And I like to apply it on my wrist and on the side points of my neck. And then sometimes I apply a little bit more on my inner wrist and apply it all over my body. And when I tell you that this scent will last you all night, all night, all day, I love it. And that is the end of my shower routine. I do not apply deodorant at nighttime and I am ready for bed. Bye.